Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the brand new 2024 Land Cruiser. Yes, it's finally back in action. This is the straight Land Cruiser model. It's not the base, it's kind of in between packages. They are a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It is a hybrid system. They are going to be averaging 10.1 liters per 100 kilometers combined, which is 28 miles per gallon. They are going to have 326 horsepower and they can tow 6,000 pounds. They're a five passenger, four wheel drive, and I am excited to go over the exterior, the interior, and answer any questions you guys have. So if you enjoy Toyota videos, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 24 and 25 models coming out as well. Let's get started on this Land Cruiser. Here we go. All right, so let's get started on the exterior here. This is white. It's not a pearlized white. It's a solid white, which looks really nice with the black accenting along the wheel wells and along the door handles, etc. So I'm gonna go over the dimensions super quick before I get into features. The length is 196.4 inches. The width is 77.9 inches. Height is 76.2 inches. And the wheelbase is 112.2 inches. Just to give some idea, I don't know why I thought these would be a little bit smaller than the Forerunner, but they are in fact a little bit bigger. <laughs> the only difference is that the Forerunner has a bit of more of a ground clearance, just a bit. This one is 8.5 inches, which is still lots of clearance for off-roading and having a good time. On the front end, we have the beautiful Heritage Grill, the Toyota there. I love how it's very square. It's a uh, rectangular LED headlamps as well and the rigid industry fog lamps, which is super cool. But yeah, just love that this is square. I know a lot of the grills nowadays are very linear or kind of honeycomb style, but this just gives it that kind of boxy cool look. You have that multi-terrain view monitor too, which I will show you inside, like the silver accenting along the bumper there. Okay. Just take a look along here. Nice, kind of a gunmetal alloy wheel. These are 18 inch alloys. We do have our mud guards in the front and the back, and this nice built in running board. Here we have glossy black on the backs of our mirrors, the camera underneath. And then they are power adjustable, power folding, heated and have the blind spot monitors in them. We have the proximity sensor too with the push button start on this, so smart key system. Up top we have our roof rails and our sunroof, which I'm too short to show you. I'll show you that inside. Tinted back windows. Take a look around here. Again, with the parking sensors along the back. Again with the gloss there and then we have our wiring harness underneath and our spare tire here we have a button to release our back window which is super cool and then on this side we have our gas tank which is 68 liters so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the interior. Okay, so starting in the hatch area, I just wanted to point out real quick, we do have the wiring harness and your spare tire below. You can open the hatch from a button underneath or from your key fob or dash. Looking inside, we have a lot of space back here. Really nice room. Rubber cargo liner, so it's Land Cruiser on it. It's great because it goes up the backs of the seats. Down here we have a 120 volt outlet. There are a couple of USB-C ports on either side. 
couple of holders in the back too, which is nice. And then we have some tie downs cleats. So these lift up. This is just a carpet mat. It's even a little storage unit right here. And then I'll hit that button to close. Taking a look around the side. All right, nice soft text leather on the armrest, power windows, of course, and then this nice soft text leather interior. I'll zoom out so you can see a bit better here. We do have center cup rests and armrests there, map holders on both sides, the rubber honeycomb style mat on either side, and then your own climate control in the back cigarette style charger and a couple of fast chargers there. Vents in the back, of course, too. So what's pretty cool about the back seat area is you do have this lever, so it can just slide forward, but also lift up. So if you want something across in the back, you have a lot more space. And let's take a look in the front. Again, nice soft touch, touch, power windows, mirrors, locks, auto folding mirrors. And then bottle open, bottle opener, bottle holder. You have your power adjustable seat with your lumbar support. Again, very nice soft text leather interior. I like that the headrests are more flat and not so tilted forward. A lot more comfortable that way have a seat inside all right i'm in so i'm gonna start by foot on the brake and push button start to turn on i'll get my cooled seats going <laughs> it's a little hot out today here in bc so let's take a first glance around this cabin so what i really like that i notice off the bat turn that fan speed down, <laughs> is that we have these really square, large windows. Great for visibility. It feels like I'm in a classic Land Cruiser that way. Love it. Even the front here is nice and square and upright. It still has that height to it, which is awesome. So off the bat, love the visibility, the open windows, and the big sunroof. Let's take a look and start here. So climate control, we have dual zone. You can be different temperature on either side. And then you also have your heated seats and your ventilated seats, front defrost, rear defrost, the mode, the fan. The mode goes between the direction of where you want it going. And heated steering wheel. And then below we have a view button. So that is a 360 degree camera. Right now it's looking from inside out, <laughs> but you can change that so that it's more of a top down 360 degree view. What I really like about these cameras, I believe they call this one a multi-terrain view monitor, is so if we're in drive and I hit that same button, we get a front projection and a top down view or this angle as well. Just really nice to have the different options. If I am in reverse, then again, we have top-down view backup camera. And with the wheel turning, it shows where you're gonna wind up, which is super cool. So put it back in park for a moment. Here's this nice climate control setup. I love that it's still simplistic. It's not all touch screen. This is a touch screen, but I like that your climate control is still very easy to operate. View button, different USB ports below. This is a wireless phone charger, so you just lay your phone there and screen up and it will charge your phone. Drive mode, so you can select. It will come up on the screen, so you can say sport, normal eco it goes a lower rpm and gets you better fuel economy sport is the opposite higher rpm a little bit more pizzazz <laughs> multi-terrain select 
crawl control. Below here we have our e-brake, which comes on automatically and comes, sorry, comes on automatically when you park, comes off automatically when you put it in drive or reverse. This one is a park brake hold. When that feature is on, every time you come to a complete stop, it holds you When you use your gas, it releases. This is your traction control. Then you have your stabilizer bar. You can adjust that so you have more range for off-roading. Center diff lock, rear diff lock. And then you have your four high and four low for your four wheel drive system. Cup holders, yay, those look pretty big. Looks like I could actually fit some big bottles in there. <laughs> Inside here, lots of space. Nice soft text. I can actually use it for my elbow and I like to sit f further up, so that's nice. You got a tow haul button, so it holds you in gear for longer if you're pulling something. Your music button is just here for your volume. I won't play any music. <laughs> right now over here we have our rain sensing wipers and rear wipers so it says hello back there waves at us cruise control so we have our safety scent toyota safety senses <laughs> so dynamic cruise control with uh, lane tracing assist all here mode is for your am fm bluetooth and then your presets I like the nice Toyota on here. Instead of having the round Toyota logo, I like the, having the actual name. It's very classy. Up here we have our buttons for our main display. So depending on what you're going to press on here is what you're going to see. If you press and hold OK, you're going to get into all of the different driving support settings, safety settings you can turn on or off. So we have our lane departure, our alert our blind spot monitors, pre-collision system, pedestrian detection alert, parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert. Ah, forget that one. <laughs> you have so many different new ones. <laughs> safe, um, is that the safe exit alert? And then the rear uh, road sign assist. <laughs> I need to figure that one out again. They just updated these with a TSS 3.0. We have our fog lamps. Our lights auto, obviously, volume, talk button on here. Fancy, fancy, you have a power adjustable wheel. And I love that you can very easily see the dash kind of wherever you really have that, but you can fine tune it. So that's pretty cool. Again, nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel. So that's all very well laid out fog lights there so separate you have dimmer for your dash automatic high beams this button is for your uh, rear cross traffic brake so you want to turn that off if you're hauling something you can put take push this button to turn that feature off <laughs> this is our tank release power hatch the ac 120 volt in the back and trailer brake control, very cool. Again, you have those foldable mirrors. Whoop, there I am, there I am again. Nice handles for getting in and out. Mics up top. Oh, there I am. You have your cool mirrors there and slidable, perfect. Here we have our auto dimming rear view mirror with home link. So you have garage door openers on there. And up top we have our controls for our sunroof. And this one will vent. Ta -da. And we have our shade there, of course, manual. So let's take a look around this cabin again. I like the finishing, nice piping, little metal accent there. Deep kind of two compartment, kind of a little side area there for your glove and that's locking. I like the center console. I'm not banging my knee and look what they did. This is nice and soft. So if you're someone who really 
keeps your <laughs> knees apart. You have a nice soft edge to rest on, but honestly, there's so much space here. Some of them, some vehicles have a big piece of plastic coming out. This is not in the way I find it's very comfortable, very spacious, lots of room back there for your guests behind you. A really cool layout. It's very comfortable. You feel nice and high up. Over there we've got our entry model. I'll do a review on that next. So, you have to let me know what you think of this new model. Very classic. Okay, I'm back real quick to go over these safety settings because there are so many acronyms. I want you to know what they mean as well as I needed a refresher on a couple of them. So. LDA is the lane departure alert, so if you are drifting over a line on the road, it will kind of beep and tug you back in the right direction. BSM are blind spot monitors. That is what's in your mirrors, the little two cars passing each other there. Basically, those will light up whenever a car is coming up behind you. It will also flash really quickly if you have your turn signal on and someone's there, so it's trying to get your attention to not move over. PCS is pre-collision system, detects cyclists, pedestrians, and cars, and in emergency situations, it will try to stop. So if you are either going to rear end someone or someone's going to cut you off, it will try to help you out. Not a fail safe, but it's there. Uh, so PDA, this one is proactive driving assist. So basically this provides braking um, and in some cases steering assist as well. So if uh, there's a curb coming up or there's a parked car on the side of the road or pedestrian walking or cyclist, it's anticipating movement, I suppose you could say. <laughs> so that one's pretty handy. It works between 30 to 60 kilometers an hour and even will help slow down around like corners as well. P is the parking assist. So, uh, in the front and the rear, those parking sensors, it'll beep when you get close to things. RCTA's rear cross traffic alert. Again, when you're in reverse, it will beep if someone uh, is driving behind you. RCDA is uh, specifically for pedestrian, so it's a rear camera detection. So it kind of goes hand in hand with your rear cross traffic alert, but with this one, um, it basically works with a computer. They work together. So it detects any, if it detects any pedestrians, a uh, light will flash. And if you don't break when it sees a person, it will break for you. So uh, that's that guy. SCA is a safe exit assist. So this also works with our blind spot monitors in the mirrors. So when you park your car and you're going to get out, if someone is again in that blind spot, this will flash and it will alert, uh, which just happened to me in the GR Corolla the other day. So that's also a really handy feature so that you don't get smoked by like a cyclist or you don't send them flying off over their handlebars. So safe exit assist is really neat. I believe if you're staying in your car that it stays on for five minutes and then we'll shut off and a little like icon comes up saying, safe exit assist is off now something like that i believe it's five minutes um and then let's see rca is road sign assist so for stop signs um speed signs so it'll have a little sign up saying 50 kilometers an hour and if you're going over it it's in red which is funny because most of the time most people it's going to be red bad speeders out there and then yeah those are just your meter settings so i wanted to go over that because I felt silly, I forgot a couple of them. We also, I didn't go over this gigantic 12.3 inch multimedia display. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We also have the connected services in this. We have Service Connect, Safety Connect, and Remote Connect. So those are things like Remote Connect, you can start your car from your phone or your key fob. Um, safety connect if there's some sort of engine problem it can send it to the shop to help diagnose the problem more quickly save you some bucks and then safety connect which is also up here so that's for calling fire truck ambulance police and it has stolen vehicle locator it has drive connect enabled but it is 
there's no subscription, uh, free subscription with this one. So that means if you wanted to, you can get a map system on here, like a cloud navigation, but you have to subscribe to it. Otherwise, when you connect to wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can have maps from your phone right up on this screen, which is awesome. It's always up to date because it's using your data. You can also pre-download maps, I believe through like Google Chrome. Um, so you don't have to use data. So a lot of people don't know that. You can just download it and then you can have it on there so you don't need to use data all the time. I think I also didn't explain this button super well. I personally haven't used it, so I can't <laughs> say for certain, uh, but the front stabilizer bar uh, disconnect is more like a full articulation. So I kind of think of it, correct me if I'm wrong, <laughs> as being more like double jointed almost, like the front end of the car can move more independently to give the, the Land Cruiser some more fluctuation more comfortable for the front passengers and help get over like off-road obstacles more easily so that's my best way of describing it after researching it I know there's probably some better wording for it but those are the couple of things I wanted to quickly touch on that I missed out on the beautiful Land Cruiser okay guys so what did you think of this brand new 2024 hybrid Land Cruiser I would love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you're interested in Toyota videos, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I have weekly uploads. And I'm about to do the base model of the Land Cruiser next, so stay tuned for that. Until next time, take care.